Hello, this is Teacher Jel. Today, we talk about the materials that absorb water. Chapter 1, Properties of Matter Lesson 1, Materials that Absorb Water We have two objectives. First, describe materials based on the ability to absorb water. Second, classify materials based on the ability to absorb water. When you use a towel after you wash your hands, what happens to the water in your hands? Write your answer in your notebook. If you split your milk, what sort of material would you use to clean it? Again, write your answer in your notebook. Before we start our activity 1, let's first take a look for the following words. Poros, having smooth holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Example, sponge, face towel, tissue paper. Non-porous, materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Example, plastic bottle and plastic cup. Observe and classify the materials that absorb water and which do not absorb water. Take note all the important details during observation. In our activity, the following materials are needed. Sponge, rubber ball, cotton ball, face towel, basin, water, tissue paper, and plastic bottle. Now is our experiment time. The first material we observe is a cotton balls in water. Observe the characteristic of each material before we place in the basin with water. Now let's observe the cotton balls in a basin with water. It's also observed water. Our next material is a tissue paper in water. Try to observe. It also absorb water. Our next material is a face towel. Put it in a basin with water and leave it for a second and see what happened. Our next material is a rubber ball. Observe. The water is still present on the ball. The rubber ball does not absorb water. Our next material is sponge. First, we put sponge in a basin with water. Observe what happened when we squeeze the sponge. Our last material is a plastic cup in water. Try to observe. It does not absorb water. The water is still in the surface of the plastic cup. Questions. What happened to the cotton balls when you put them in a basin with water? Number two, did the plastic bottle absorb water when you put it in a basin with water? Number three, did the rubber ball absorb water when you put it in a basin with water? Number four, what happened to the tissue paper when you put them in a basin with water? Number five, what are the characteristics did you observe from each material before and after adding water? Next, based on the activity, what are the materials that absorb water and materials that did not absorb water when you put them in a basin of water? What are these materials made of? Okay, write all your answer in your activity notebook. The activity explains that some of the materials absorb water more than others. Cotton is very porous, which makes it a natural absorber of water. Porous materials are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Non-porous materials like plastic does not allow air or water to pass through.
थैंक यू